okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous video i have created uh, uh, my first product and saved that in database and now in this video i will get all the products from the database and then i will display that on my front end home page okay so for that i simply go to my back end in the controllers create a new function here i simply copy that and that is going to be um, get products and i will use here uh, product.find I will definitely add the pagination and filters in, um, in upcoming videos but right now I simply add this one and return the products from here okay so product.find it will give me all the products in the database and I will simply uh, in the response pass in here um, the product and this is 201 for the uh, new product simply save it close this one go to the pages in the API index.js I will simply copy this and that is the get in that I will simply type here uh, get products and if you don't know uh, next.js works on the file based routing so uh, in, in this case in the pages we have this API in the products we have this index.js so this file will represent slash API slash products okay now in that we can define multiple routes uh, one is for this that will is the post uh, request that will create a new product and the same file we have added a get request that will get all the products like this okay simply save this one now if i go back to my postman i copy this from here put that here if i click on send you can see that i get here an array of all the products you can see that this is array of all the products okay so now our endpoint is ready now we have to uh, call it on the front end and uh, uh, basically display all the products so i simply go to my uh, vs code close this one and in the home page i create a, on the on the root i create a new folder that is components in that um in the components i will create here a new folder that is going to be products in that a new file that is list products dot gsx okay so that is going to be list products and i will get the data from here that i will pass okay and let's actually uh, save this one go to my app in the app i have to create here uh, sorry we already have page.gsx and this is the home page so here we have to send the request uh, to the api and get all the products so i will simply uh, first of all install the axios so npm i axios just save and then after that i will simply import here axios create a new function here const get products async and in that we simply get the data from the response that is going to be await axios dot get and in that we have to pass in here the endpoint that is going to be um, process dot env dot um, api underscore url okay then slash api then slash products then we simply have to return from here the data and i will make this component async and remember that this is our server component so i will simply type here const products data that is going to be await get products and then i will get here the products data and then here I will simply add list products and this component I will simply pass here the data that is going to be uh, products data simply save this one and if I simply log here the data save this one and I start my server and now if I go to my postman if I reload this page um so error while connecting so if i go back um um axios error so if i simply go here in the page so that is oh we have to actually add this in the next.config.js so which is here 
that is going to be HTTP localhost port 3000 okay simply save it and restart my server and now if I go back to my postman reload this page if I go to the inspect in the console I will see nothing here because this is a server component so I will get my products right here so you can see that we have here our uh, products okay so I close this one and also this one now I go to my git repo to copy my component so I go to the slash buy it now and here I have in the source in the components um, in the product I need here list product oh, sorry product details and oh, sorry the product uh, list product only okay so what I do is I actually um, copy from this section okay so I copy this from section copy that and I um, put that here okay simply save it and now if I go back you will see that we don't have here filters so I simply go here in the components uh, in the layout we have this uh, filters so this is simply uh, the GSX that I will explain when we will implement the um, filters so I go to my VS code and in the components create a new folder that is layout and uh, create a new file here that is filters.jsx put that here and I also have to install this react star rating because I have to display uh, the stars we also have that in the list product so I will install this package npm i react uh, star ratings that will display the stars and then um, if I simply save this one I restart my server and now if I go back and reload this page uh, so filters we have to also import that so import filters and now we have here this error so I will go here and to avoid this error I simply go back and use here use client because this is a client component so I will use here use client so it will make it the client component and now if I go back so now link is we have to import the link so I go back and simply import here the link component from next slash link okay and now again we have to import something and that is the star rating so I will import here as well import star ratings from the react star ratings okay and then um, if I go back uh, we also have again this error and we have to make it uh, the client component so use client simply save this one and now uh, it that expects a string or object in the link but got undefined and I will handle that in a minute okay and now we know that we have here and now if I scroll down now what I do is I simply create here a new component in the products that is called product item dot jsx I will simply go here and I have to copy this article so I copy that entire from here and I will hold the shift and click here so I cut it from here and I put that right here okay simply save this one and now I will loop through all the data products okay and then dot map and then here I will simply type here the product and for each product I will simply uh, type here the product item and I have to pass in here the data so that is going to be product that is the product and also we have to pass in here the key because we are using the map so that is going to be product dot underscore ID now we will get this product right in here 
so we will display here the product uh, name I think so and then here in the href we have to type here slash product and slash the product dot underscore id simply save this one and now if i go back uh, we have to also import the link here so import link and uh, we also have to import the store ratings actually we have to cut both from here and put that here simply save this one and also save it and now if i go back you can see that here we get here our pro, uh, sidebar that contains the filters then we have here our product with this name now let's render all the data so i simply type in here uh, rating that is going to be product dot ratings in the same way i copy this from here and put that here for the ratings and here i will add the description and then the price okay and i think so that is it um so we say this one now if i go back now we have here our uh, product uh, details we also have to add here uh, substring because i only want to display here first 150 characters so here in the description i will simply add dot substring from 0 to 150 then i will add here dot 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 simply save this one and now we have here this uh, description now let's display our image and we know that we don't have any image for this product so we will display our default image if we don't have that okay so what i do is i simply go back um here i will add the image from next slash image and then uh in the source i will simply che add, check that if product dot images of zero exist then we will use here the the first image of that product that is going to be images of zero dot url we know that we have the uh, array of all the images and if we don't have this image then we will display a default image so i simply type here slash images slash default underscore product dot png and let me copy that in my folder and here in the public i have added a image folder images folder that contains the default avatar uh, dot png then default product dot png then the default dot png which is the default user and then the logo of the uh, project you can also get the images from my git repo uh, okay so now uh, if i simply save it go back and reload this page you can see that we have here the default image of the product you can also change that if you want so now let's also add here header so i simply go back uh i close this one this one and then in the components in the layout i have to actually use here uh the header.js jsx so this is the header component so i simply copy that from here so i go back and then here in the layouts create a new file that is header.jsx okay and then here i will add that code i have to import the link from next slash link okay and then i have to add here href href this is also href okay and also you have to add here the search component so in the layouts i create a new file that is search.jsx that contains the search field so i go back in the layout in the search.jsx i have this code just a field and a button so i copy that from here and i put that here simply save this one and now if i go back uh, we also have to add the header in our layout so i go in the uh, in the app in the layout 
and what I do is I add here after we'll remove this one after this head in the body I will add here my header header okay and now if I go back you can see that we have here our header component and we also have to add here the images uh, link so I go back in the header and that is going to be slash images slash logo uh, dot png I think so uh, yes we have here our logo and we have to give here the image class so that is going to be image from next slash image okay and I will remove this line from here as well and also here uh, where we have displayed the image of the user uh, where it is here in the source I will add here the slash images slash default dot png okay so now we have successfully added the header uh, we have added our uh, user image the filter sidebar and also we are displaying all the products uh, on our home page let's create one more product uh, with the same name if I click here send and now if I reload this page now you can see that we have here two products okay so I hope that you understand uh, in my next video I will display the details of that product when I click on this pro uh, product I have to display all the details of that product and then we will move on okay and I hope that you know the basics of Tailwind which is a CSS framework just like bootstrap that give us bunch of classes to design the uh, project uh, or the uh, app more quickly okay if you don't know the Tailwind make sure to watch a basic video and then come back and follow along I hope that you understand if you have any question you can definitely post it in the comment section I will definitely reply there and you can also find the source code in the description of this video so I will see you in the next lecture